Destroy all the asteroids. There aren't as many asteroids this time around. And alien fighters, I think there's going to be a shit ton of them. Protect minor shuttlecraft from alien attack. I hate that shit. I hate protecting things. <laughs> no, um, it's kind of like, like escort missions in first person shooters. They're really annoying. Now, the most important thing are the miners. Find them and stick to them like fucking glue. Now, they should be around here somewhere. There they are. Now, be on the lookout for red dots. Uh, and there's a shit ton of them. Now you notice there's a lot of lag. Because there's a lot of shit. We have asteroids. We have friendly craft. We have enemy craft. We have uh, uh, visual effects like the blaster bolts. And then we have the two-dimensional plane as our backdrop. But yeah, like I said, the miners are, what, are what's important. So stick to them. Make sure that they're safe. Destroy asteroids as they come along. Ooh, boost engine. Ah, I haven't gotten that power up before. Okay, everything's boosted. I'm pretty good now. Oh, oh shit. Thankfully, I'm doing pretty well keeping the aliens at bay. Um, sometimes I'm not so Johnny on the spot because I get distracted by asteroids. But I'm doing fairly well. It's refreshing. Oh, there they are. Alien ships. Time to fuck them up. I feel like I'm playing Independence Day. Oh, shit. Ah, oh, damn it. Okay, we got dead miners now. One lost shuttlecraft. There we go. Oh, God. Sometimes you have to be, like, dead on to get these power-ups. See? Those are little tiny asteroids, and that means I had blown up their big brothers at some point, and they just came back. So, don't be too concerned. You know, like, don't be afraid they'll be lost forever. Yeah, they'll, they'll come back, and you'll be able to destroy them won't be judged too harshly for it. But like I said, stay on those. Stay on that shuttlecraft. And there's the miners. Moon approaching. Okay, let's hope I made it. Pretty sure I did. Fairly sure. Let's skip that. Come on, skip. Successful! All right, so this is now mission four, I think. The music does change up from time to time. Destroy all the asteroids again. The alien fighters again. Please don't make me have to rescue people. Destroy the alien turrets. Hmm. Rescue the stranded miner. Ah, oh, six of them. Gotta rescue six of them and destroy all the turrets. All right. I'm gonna uh, save the miners first. Oop, there you are. Gotta keep my energy up because I think this is when it starts depleting that much faster. Whoa! Man, where the fuck is this thing? Really? There we go. Let's move on to the next level, come on. Now you do get bombs and stuff, but I think that's the next level where you can actually pick them up. And as far as I can tell, there's no other views. Like there are no other viewing angles. 
the, this is it. Ooh, big planet. Really bright planet. Oh. Yeah, too much. Ah, I'm going to just boost the speed, maybe if I get there quicker. Yeah, there we go. Successful. See, it doesn't seem that hard now, is it? Now, I know it's easy, but I'm sure a lot of people who have complained it's difficult. In fact, I'm pretty sure a few people who have said it's difficult have played it on easy. So, but I'm doing pretty well, and I've only played this maybe three or four times. Yeah, now there's going to be fewer and fewer asteroids. After a while, they just kind of wean you off. Intercept and destroy the alien bombers. Okay. Bomb scoop has been attached to ship, so bomb scoop just fly into it. some serious lag here, but it's still very playable. Oh. I'm guessing that's the alien bomber. He's just pelted me with shit. Okay. to make out what it is like what kind of alien ship oh, okay i think now we're looking at the correct angle yeah die 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 see the game is pretty exciting i mean if i'm getting quiet it's because i'm concentrating and i'm getting a little wrapped up in the game There we go, I'm all juiced up. Oh, uh, 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 uh. oh, yeah, there we go. It's flying over me. Ah, god damn it. Whoa, that's neat. <laughs> that's kind of neat. It's simple, but it's neat. But this is really a fun game. I don't know if I'd spend $400 or $800, however much people have spent to get a righteous copy of this game. But if you contact somebody like Retro Ryan and get a repro, uh, I'd say go for it because the game is fun and it's, I, I'd say it's a good reason to want a 32X. Because God damn it, uh, it, no point in not, it, there's just something about playing on the actual hardware that makes it more special. That may sound stupid, but you know, I'm one of those weird guys. I like vinyl, I like cassette, I like, all these, I guess some would argue, outdated formats, but there's just something, especially vinyl records, and I feel it's the same with cartridges. There's just something about it, perhaps it's pure nostalgia, uh, um, you know, that, that's a fair criticism. Well, I can't say that about records. That isn't nostalgia, because I wasn't raised with records. I was raised with cassettes and CDs. I didn't get a turntable until I was much older. Mission successful. See, doing pretty well. I dig the music. It's some of the better music I've heard for the 32X. I think it's a damn sight better than, uh, what is it? Oh, Miners in Danger, Miners to be Rescued 8. Ugh, I hate rescuing miners. Um,. Oh, but I think it's better than the music for, uh, what was it, Shadow Squadron? I mean, I like the music, but it's disappointing if you're familiar with the 32X capabilities and you know exactly what it is capable of, and to hear it all kind of go to waste. Oh, and you can launch bombs now, all those bombs you were collecting. Uh... I'm not, I'm, they're not uh, working very well. Uh, 
This is where I start to have issues. It's hard trying to save miners. I'm trying to, dickhead. There we go. Got him with a well-placed bomb. Oh. Oh. oh, great. So some of my bombs actually flash green. Oh. Ah, I eat my dick. Yeah, I get it. All right. Hope it replenishes my bombs like I saw the same amount of bombs I had before. Yeah, I got the money. Okay. Uh, 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 uh. What the fuck? This guy is all over the goddamn map. Oh god damn, he keeps de he keeps avoiding my bombs. He is so annoying. There we go. Fucked up your day righteously, bitch. Now I'm Jesse Pinkman. Fucked up your day, bitch. Oh god, die. They take so many hits. Ooh. Did I? Oh, God. Okay, you know what? I'm calling it a day. My back hurts. My my eyes hurt. I played Comic Zone, then immediately went to playing Dark Side after. So I'm done for the day. But that's Dark Side for the 32X. And I say, I, I think it's a really good game. And uh, uh, like I said, I don't know if I would pay for $800 to get a righteous copy, but. Um, it is a good game, though. It isn't like uh, the last game that was released here in the United States for the 32X, which was uh, Spider-Man Web of Fire. And I've seen enough YouTube footage of it to know that, uh, or at least feel that I don't, I, I wouldn't enjoy it. So, uh, but this game, Dark Side, that is really good. And again, the guy's name is Retro Ryan. I'll put a link up so that you can find this dude. And maybe get a copy for yourself, because it's nice having a righteous copy. Um... Uh, and don't know if you can see it, but he actually does a nice label here and a box. The whole thing. So if you haven't played Dark Side, you'd like to, and you would like to have it on a real cartridge with a real box so you can play it on real hardware and not spend 800 fucking dollars for it, you know where to go. So stay cool.